have you one when i say dissociation of sensibility what do you get out of this word means there is no association with the sensibility no link between feelings and your thoughts this is a term coined by the ts eliot in his essay called the metaphysicals poets in 1921 it was published metaphysical poets we have john donne henry vaughan george herbert andrew marvell richard crawshaw thomas traherne and abraham cowley so these poets have the association of sensibility in their work we have john donne writing about he and his beloved sleeping now sun has risen now sun is disturbing them he said that you old fool sun this is his own experience and he has written it down in the poetry there is a flea and our flea has bitten on his skin and his beloved now the blood got mixed up inside the flea so this is something which is happening in his life his own experience and he write it down this this dissociation of sensibility has caused a difference between the intellectual and the reflective poets reflective poets reflects whatever is happening in their life and the intellectual poets they are propounding the philosophies which does not sometime even exist in the real world we have the tennyson we have the we have the browning now browning robert browning is writing about the greek sculptures painters scholars you know who does not bling uh, uh, live in this era who does not belong to the era in which robert browning exist so this is something which is out of the context this is something which is out of his own experience now we have the tennyson alfred law tennyson he is writing the writing about the medieval aspects of medieval subjects like a odyssey or your morte the earth or your chivalric age but not writing things about the uh, reality something which is in his own experience which is something he is feeling because this is one of the reason is that uh, the reality is very harsh right reality is very harsh because in victorian age it is a more of a mechanical age and less spiritual charles darwin has published a book on species in 1859 so before that everyone was thinking that uh, we are born out of that light which is coming from the hand of jesus or the god you know and after our death our souls will go to the heavens and who will do the who will do the bad bad karma their soul will be will be taken to the hell but the moment they got to know the logic the moment you become a rational being every single thing gets clear you start having doubt about your own existence so we have the lady of shallot lady of the shallot is living inside a castle and she is not able to come out of this castle she sees the reality of the world in the reflection in the mirror because to see it to experience it in reality is very harsh it gives her pain and when she go out there she died right the reality is un- unbearable and that is one of the reason that these poets are writing more of philosophical aspects you know something which is not in their own real existence so we have the poets who have the feelings mixed with their words whatever they are writing they have felt it they have experienced it and where do we get it in the metaphysical poets and that is the main reason that they were admired by the ts eliot right i hope you, i hope i made this whole a uh, term or this concept very easy for you if you like the video make sure you like it share with other people and if you want to understand more concepts like this i provide you crash course study material which i have recently updated it took me years to to develop this one part one new part which covers your whole british literature it contains 129 pages now its cost has shifted to 1950 early it was just 1499 if you want to get access to it you can contact me on the below given numbers Very soon I'll be back with another relevant video till then time is Bhupesh Sharma signing off